Hey everyone, you guys will have to excuse the voice. My voice is, uh, it's a little bit rough right now. I, uh, <laughs> yeah, figures, right? YouTuber with a sore throat, right? It's like the most cliche thing in the world. But I have a little bit of a sore throat, but I promised you guys we would take a look at some of the more extreme weapons in Calamity. And since we've gotten to the end of our series now, we definitely have to do it. So please just mind the, the sore throat. I'll probably like cough or croak or go silent for a second throughout this episode. It's just... I'm just kind of getting used to it. I'm like, I'm on the mend. You didn't see a video from me uh, yesterday. And if you did, it was pre-recorded. Hey, movie magic, right? But uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm getting over it. It's just very, very painful right now. <laughs> but no, uh, I can't do that. Do you know that deep hello Terraria enthusiasts? That takes a lot out of the throat. You don't want to be doing that when you feel uh, <laughs> feel too good. But it's all good. It's because I've been recording a lot recently. It's, it's all fine. Right, so I started this a bit too early, actually. I needed it to be night time. Right, well, I guess I'm going to have to uh, to wait. No, I'm kidding. Um, I'm going to use this time to talk about something which is kind of important, so it's for the future. Um, so if you're watching this in the distant future, hey, look at you. You already know what's about to happen. So we did a straw poll, and it got around 2,000 votes, which is, like, really, really cool. Like, thank you. So that gives me, like, lots of data to work with. And uh, it was... A lot of them, a lot of the people were like spirit mod all the way, right? Spirit mod next. And I wanted to do spirit mod because I've never done it before and it seems like completely fresh, right? But then we also had a bunch of people that were just saying, hey, do Thorium. And then we had like a third camp where it was kind of people saying, right, you should do Thorium now because when the spirit mod comes out fully in a few more weeks, you know, when you've done with the Thorium mod, it will be a lot better. And so I'm, I'm really unsure what to go with now because people's counter argument to that was oh well a lot of people have done thorium even you've done a bit yourself um i'm, I'm kind of blind to it because i don't really remember much of it i'll be honest it was like a good year and a half ago um but the other thing is as well is like when we did calamity man loads of people have done calamity it, it never really matters in that sense because uh it's about the way you play the game i think but anyway that's my thoughts at the minute so if you guys would like to chime in on that i've been trying to get into some comments with people but i think I'm just so unsure, I'm like 50-50 split because I want to do something new like Spirit Mod, but then I also don't want to do it if it's not finished, but then I also know the Thorium Mod is finished, and it's actually really good, so it's kind of like, I don't know, I really don't know. Right, it's night time now, so uh, yeah, sorry for that little tangent. If you're new around here, welcome to the uh, welcome to the show. Right, we're doing Yaren today because I needed to get some more Yaren Feathers. Oh, what? I can just spawn that now? Oh, snap. Okay. Okay, I didn't know I could do that now. I thought I had to wait until night time. Oh, was it night time when I did that? Right, okay. I'm going to try and defeat my Yaren boy. Right, I needed some more Yaren feathers. That's why we're doing Yaren. And that's why I have some mechanical schools. Because I also need some mechanical schools. Because I did a tiny, tiny bit of, uh, of getting preparation right. Like, I'm pretty sure I got a Paladin's Hammer. I think I'm... Did I get a Paladin's Hammer? I can't remember. I did this all yesterday. Uh, I got some bullets. Because we're going to make a gun. Uh, I also just looked at a bunch of crafting recipes and such. I've got a rough outline. I'm sure as we uh, as we go into this, we'll uh, we'll figure it out. Okay, have I activated my buffs now? Yeah, there we go. Right, <laughs> didn't do uh, didn't activate my uh, my extra buffs for my accessory. Okay. Oh my god, the voice it kills. It kills. <laughs> but though, no, if you have a, a sore voice, so you do YouTube. You just have to push through it, man. The only way. Right, so that's one. We'll do the second one in a second. I'll let myself heal up, though. Actually, let's open this up now. So we got inside. Mystic Yaren's Kindle Staff. Summons the son of Yaren to fight for you. The dragon increases your life regeneration, defense, movement, and speed while summoned. The dragon imbues your melee attacks with holy flames while summoned. Requires four minion slots to use. Do we have four minion slots? Probably not, right? Deadly Dragon's Breath. Is this a uh, gun? Oh my god, that's a cool gun. I'm happy with that. Yeah, I knew there was some uh, awesome uh, Yaren weapons that we didn't get, so I thought we may as well at least have a little try for them now, even though it's a little bit too late. We still get a good shot with them. Right. It's probably best to uh, bring this thing up to here, isn't it? Because this, uh, this red sun is awesome. I love this weapon. This weapon is, like, strong as own. Okay, let's kill you. I'm just trying to keep it here just to do more damage to it, but then I also don't want to die, so... <laughs> you know, kind of picking and choosing here. Right, he's dropping a lot of health very quickly. 
Alright, you know what? Hmm, I'm trying to think of how to get that extra summon in. If I had a pygmy, a pygmy necklace, a summoning potion, and a bewitching table, I could do that. Okay, strong phoenix flame barrage. Have I done this one before? Uh, that's kind of like one of the... Uh, it reminds me of one of the 1.3.4 uh, weapons. I don't know which one I'm thinking of, but it reminds me of something like that. Okay, well, that's kind of cool. So I got my feathers. And uh, and that's all good. Right, now we're off back to spawn. To do Supreme Calamitous. This one's going to be... A, actually, I should probably do Mechanical Skull next. There we go. Okay. I just needed some uh, some Souls of Fright for the uh, developer's armor. Okay, awesome. He's done. Right, and then what we'll do is I've extinction now, and I'm just going to do a few of these to see how many I can get done. Because obviously this fight takes a while, doesn't it? But it probably won't now. Oh, I should uh, swap out these two. Yeah, and I've got my buff on. Awesome, awesome. Right, this is probably still a hard fight. It's just that it's going to be a little bit quicker. So I'm just going to have to remember that. Okay, okay. I'm trying to keep my voice really low, by the way. Like, the excitement is is there. But I'm trying to keep it really low just because uh, it's when I do my deeper voices that it really hurts. And it's really funny because uh, deep voices is my go-to voice. You know what I mean? I got, I'm very, I've got a very deep voice just in general. But uh, I go even deeper for YouTube for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That's just me, man. That's just me. Right, let's fly away. Dude, I forget how hard this is. It's only been a few days since I beat Supreme Calamitous, and already I'm thinking, Oh, dude, man, this dude's easy. And then you fight in, it's like, oh, right, okay, maybe it's not. Am I even going to beat the brothers? Probably not, right? Uh, i got 30 seconds left on the heal, though. I could do with killing some of those brothers for some health. Oh, dude, the brothers die so fast, man. I was not expecting that to die so fast. Oh, God. No, please, Supreme Calamitous, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Okay, I only have 300 health. I could appreciate being left alone, buddy. Or at least being given some of that health that you might have dropped from one of the brothers. Hey, look at that. Totally got some. Right, where did it die? It died here. What's Contagion? Oh, is that a weapon? Okay, cool. Did I pick up a, a loot bag for that? Did I? Where did it die? I'm so confused. All right, now I've got to scatter around because I'm not too sure whether I picked up a loot bag. My god, I think this throat infection is going to my brain. Is it going to my brain? <laughs> oh, I'm so confused. Did... No? No. No, that wasn't everything, was it? Wait, these fragments, I need these. So I know I need the essence. Does it actually not just drop a, a loot bag? Probably not, right? Okay, so... Buff up again. We'll go again. Because uh, I made a few. I knew I was going to do a few today because I, need, I needed a, I needed all the help I could get in terms of bars and stuff. So I don't actually have that many to craft with. Okay, awesome. Right, on we go. But yeah, so I'm, I'm so torn between Spirit and Thorium. Because obviously it's a uh, it's going to be a long commitment. I like to do my series daily, so I like to know that I'm going to be able to finish them from the start. So, uh, I don't know. I trust you guys more than me, though, to, uh, to make a decision like that. But like I said, man, if you've seen somebody else play Thorium, just, even if you've seen me play Thorium, just remember that it's like different every time you play Terraria, if you know what I mean. But then again, Spirit Mod is something new. Something new, that's exciting. <laughs> it's exciting. Do you know what? I may do another straw poll with that in mind. With you with, with you guys knowing all the uh, the data, I'll do, a, I'll do another straw poll. And we'll see how it goes. I want to see if the opinions change based on that. Okay, uh, right, awesome, we're almost dead, got 30 seconds left on the heal, wait, is he spinning round? It looks like he was doing a little spin attack then, like a little, like, uh, like changing form or whatever, dude, he's fast, man, he's getting faster, oh, it's the brothers, oh, it's the brothers, and I only have 300 health left and 14 seconds on the heal, oh, snap, okay, well, that's one of the brothers dead, do with the other one time, please. Okay, the other one's dead. Three, four, three, two. Oh, snap. Okay, well, I didn't do that one too well now, did I? <laughs> you dropped 51 platinum. Chippy, what are you doing, man? <laughs> I'm so ill. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. I can feel it. I can feel it. Right. Uh, let's buff up. 
We'll heal up. We'll wait for the next one. We'll wait for that next one. But yeah. So we got... So what do we get? We got the contagion. I don't have any arrows on me. But that seems very cool indeed. Alright, dude. Can you hurry up and heal up? Come on, man. I want to see if I can take... Let's see. I've got a little station over here, haven't I? A witching table station? And what was it? This thing. So does that actually give me anything, or is that not enough? Oh, it is. Bewitching. No. So what is it, then? Increase your max number. So that's summoning. Can I buy something from you to help me with this? Let's see. Can I buy anything from you? Like a, a little necklace rope? No. Probably because we're not in the, uh, we're not in the jungle. Right, okay. On we go. I'll do this a little bit better this time. Okay, let's see. Come on, Calamus. Come on, Supreme Calamus. Look at us. This was like such a pain to learn how to do it, and now it's made so easy by the endgame sword. <laughs> it's beautiful justice, right? <laughs> Am I right? Okay. Dude, I love this weapon, man. This weapon's awesome. I like my galaxy sword, like my Ark of the Elements kind of looking galaxy stuff. You know what I mean? Like, it looks like a wicked rainbow. I do like that, but this is a good alternative. I'm happy with this. Okay. Uh, right, I wasn't hoping my uh, NPCs would die like that, but that's fine. I don't really need them at this point in the game. It's all good. Okay, I'm going to heal up. Gonna let that take damage. Okay, and we're gonna fall down. It doesn't do the whole particle effect every time you're actually just swinging that sword. It only seems to like rain the clouds sometimes. I'm a little bit unsure on how this sword actually works. Let's see, do I fire it there and that works? Nice. Nice. Alright, we're doing well. We're doing well. I think I'm gonna win this one. I think I'm gonna be fine for this one. I'm not really bothered about losing the other one, that's the funny thing. I'm not actually that bothered. I've lost against this fight like too many times to really care about losing it, if you know what I mean. Okay. My god, the motorcyclists outside of my road are so loud. I can't wait to move. I'm only a couple of uh, weeks away from the big move. Like, I'm like, we'll be on. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm like five, six weeks away from my big move. Gonna make everything sound so much better. It's gonna be good. I'm gonna do like a, a full-on house tour for you guys when I move. I'll do a before and after as well. That's kind of cool. I've been kind of busy with that recently. That's been cool, though. That's been, like, exciting stuff. I say it in a, in a negative tone because I'm, you know what I mean, I'm feeling a bit rough. All right, so I've... Oh, okay. So I've just picked up a bit of developer's armor. Right, off back to the house we go. So what's it called? Demon Shade. Dude, you picked a cool name. Right, so... Oh, I didn't pick up my essence because I had seven before. Now I've not got seven. I've already... If, Look at me. I've already got seven. Man, I don't have that accessory on me anymore. Do you know the one that makes you uh, travel really fast? I don't actually have it on me. <laughs> I don't know if that's... I don't know whether I put that away or it's just not in the game anymore. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, I can imagine it being taken out for being too uh, too good. That's a murderous Nimbus rod. So where do we... Uh, where do we pick up those items? Did he drop anything? I'm getting a little bit unsure now. Was it over here? Um, probably not, right? Probably not. Um, okay. Please, bear with me, man. I'm, uh, I'm struggling. <laughs> so nothing, right? No? No, was that... No? I'm a little bit confused. Alright, it doesn't really matter. It's honestly fine. I think we've got enough now, anyway. Or at least we have, we, we have enough to have some fun. So let's see. We can start making weapons now. No, we can make shadow spec bars. Okay, so we now have 25. Ah, but I wanted more bars of life. Do I actually have any more in my chest? No, I don't have any more bars of life. Ah, snap. Snap, snap, snap. There was, uh, there was something I wanted to make with them. Uh, one of the swords is something I wanted to make with them. Let's see, though. Let's start with uh, let's start with what we can make right now. So, nothing so far, but let's see. Let's open this up. Let's place some of these bars in. 
And let's see. So, I need some souls of might. 30 souls of might. Now, do I have souls of might? I'm not too sure. I might have used them throughout the series. I've got flight, night, and light. I have some cores there. Uh, do I have any in here? So I only have 10 souls of might. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Okay, well, I, I haven't got the stuff for that one. Let's move on to the next one then. Let's see what I can make next. Developer's armor. Hey, okay, so souls of fright and shadow spec bars. I only need two more pieces as well. Okay, so let's see. So I'm going to open up my loot bags. One, two. Get rid of all this uh, stuff. And then souls of fright so I can make... The helmet and the uh, and the leggings. So it takes us down to 161 defense and down to 650 health, right? All right. So our yeah, okay. So we do go up in a we do go up in a defense then, but we don't go up in health. So 50% increased melee damage. Crit. Oh, okay. Shadow beams and demon slice will fire down while invincibility is active. Set bonus. Melee attacks inflict shadow flame. Great for impersonating devs. Hey, cool. I'm cool with that. That seems like a cool weapon. Right, so what is next? What is next? So I have 16 bars left. So I wanted to have a look at this. This was something I was interested in. This uh, pickaxe with 5,000 uh, pickaxe speed. So what you need to do is you need to combine a solar pickaxe with a galactica and some Meldiot bars. So I've got that. So let's go into one of my crafting. So I need some Galacticas. Right, so I need one of those. And then I need some Meldiot bars. Nine maybe? Is it nine? Okay, and then that should be able to make a wicked pick, right? Okay, so that makes a wicked pick. The Galliant pickaxe. So this is 250 pickaxe power. Let's test this out. Uh... What is this? Oh, it says a bunch of health. Okay, cool. All right, let's test this out here. Yeah, let's get off your thingy. Right. Dude, that is... That's that's crazy. Like, that is insane. <laughs> like, that's already insane. So, you guys ready to see a pickaxe with 5,000%. Right, so I pop this into here. Stand over here. And I can make the Crystal Crusher... 5,000% pickaxe power. Now, this might break my game. Fingers crossed it doesn't, guys. Fingers crossed it doesn't. Oh, my God. That is intense. Look at that. That is insane. That is crazy. 5,000% pickaxe power. You are kidding me. Oh, my God. It's like... Oh, that's a, that's a noise and a half, isn't it? Oh my god. It's like a whirring noise. You know what I mean? Like a whirr. Oh my god. That is crazy. Dude. Oh, it's nice when it gets to the dirt. It sounds a little bit better. Oh my <laughs> Oh, that is just so cool. Look at this. It just demolishes. Oh wow, look at that. It's like you can mine faster than you can even fall. Dude, that's so cool to see. Oh, <laughs> that, is, that is actually mad. That's actually mad. What does it do with dungeon? Oh, it just rips it up, man. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. Okay, All right. I probably, uh, I probably said oh wow a bit too many times there. So, let's go back. Let's see what's next. So, I have 11 bars left. So, what can I do with 11 bars? Hopefully something fun. So, let's see. Um... There's this one, which I've not made the... I've not made... Have I made that one? Have I not made the Galactus Blade? I don't think I have, have I? So I've not made the Galactus Blade. Ah, I think this is what I needed to make. The Blade of Anonymity. This uses a... Let's see. Yeah, you needed a... Five of these and some Core of Calamity. So we can get around to that at some point. So let's see what else is there. So that's Contagion. We actually got that for free, didn't we? I wonder how many of these you can actually get for free. Probably all of them, right? So what's this? Oh, the P90. Okay. So let me grab my P90 then. We'll test this one out. So P90, where you at, bro? Uh, you're here. 
Okay, I'll just put my dirt away. Because I've probably got a lot of dirt now. Probably got a lot of junk. You know what I mean? Uh, let's get rid of that. Okay, so P90 and this. Let's see. This one... I never used this in my series, but people were so happy with this, like, as a gun. Like, people are like, this is such a cool gun. This is called the Soma Prime. We tried the P90 out. <laughs> right, I can see why you like it. I can see why you like it. That is just mad. That is like a, like, it's like the golden shower. Like, how frequent that is. Let's find an enemy. Let's see, is there an enemy nearby? Gotta be one, right? Any enemies want to come along? Hello? I kind of need to test this out. I want to see how fast it rips up an enemy. Ah, that was pretty good. Yeah, I like that. We obviously don't have uh, the accessories for this, but it's so cool. That, once again, is a noise and a half, though. All right, well, that's going to do it for uh, today's episode, guys. Once again, I'm so sorry for my sore throat, and I'm sorry because, uh, you know, it's a little bit hard to watch somebody talk so quiet. But uh, I hope you're all having a great day, and I uh, I would appreciate some input into the next series. You guys have been doing a good job already, but I'm a little bit unsure. Hey, Captain Bullywart. Right, see you all tomorrow, guys. Peace.